Good morning. Good morning. And welcome this Sunday morning from my house and from Angie's house as we gather to worship again, come together virtually. It is nice to know that you are here with us, that you will join with us in prayer and in song this morning. This morning we hear, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. We're thinking of love and all that love can mean to us. And this morning especially, we're going to think and hold in our prayers and in our singing, Dot and Joe. Dot who has been taken into hospital, who is now, they had a Zoom session yesterday, but she's very tired, quite poorly, and Joe unable to visit her. So as we sing, as we pray, as we come together, let's hold Joe, Dot, Babs and Honour in our worship, in our thoughts and on our hearts this day. But we start with our first hymn, which is God is Love, His the Care. And the darkness can never put it out. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. This is the good news. The grave is empty. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. This is the good news. Once we were no people. Now we are God's people. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. This is the good news. Christ is our peace, the indestructible peace we can share with each other. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
In baptism, we died with Christ, so that as Christ was raised from the dead, we might walk in newness of life. Let us receive new life in him as we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Like Mary at the empty tomb, when we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Like the disciples behind closed doors, when we are afraid to be seen as your followers, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Like Thomas, in the upper room, when we are slow to believe, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God, who is all forgiveness, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sin. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And now we all join together to sing the Gloria. The first reading, Acts 17, 23 to 31. Paul stood in front of the people and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it he who is Lord of heaven and earth does not live in the shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives all mortals life, breath and all things. 
From one ancestor he made all the nations to inhabit the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live, so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so we now prepare to hear the gospel by singing our gradual song, Faithful One, So Unchanging. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides in you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in the Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. 
May your words reach, open and change our hearts. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Amen. Being the church these last couple of months has required us to learn to be different because the world is different. There have been many losses, not seeing our families and friends, not being together in church, not being inspired by the beautiful music in our beautiful building, not greeting one another. But there have been gains too. Time to live at a slow pace and spend less. Time to appreciate simple things like birds singing. Time to be happy with small things like watching plants grow. Time to pray. Talk to God and listen to what God is saying. And going online with worship means that people have joined our daily prayer and Sunday services from all over Britain, from Europe, even Australia. People who wouldn't otherwise know anything about St Elizabeth's. This is not because St Elizabeth's is so great but because God is so great. Because God is reaching out to be the answer to many of the questions we're all grappling with. Questions that the pandemic has brought to the surface. I don't mean questions like, when can I hug my grandchildren? Or should I wear a face mask? Or can I go on a foreign holiday this year? I mean, the really deep questions of life. Is God really there? Is there a God I can believe in? How do I pray? What is the purpose of my life? Who am I really, deep down? When many of the uncertainties, no, when many of the certainties that we built our lives on and much of what we took for granted is no longer in place. When we've got more time to think and talk. When we're sleeping less well and we're awake more at night. When we can't plan for the future like we like to do. When frustration and anger and despair is only just below the surface when our list of must-dos and must-haves is shorter, when life is more precarious, God has a chance to break in to our locked down, zipped up, sorted out lives. To knock on our window and say, hey, here I am, walking alongside you, abide in me, Rest in me, live and move and have your being in me. Really, that's the essence of these two readings we've heard today. St. Paul is amongst philosophers and seekers in Athens who don't know about Jesus and the living God. Jesus is amongst his disciples who don't understand why he's talking about leaving them and going to the Father. Both groups of people, to some extent, stumbling along in the dark, just like we feel we are so often these days. And the word of God is this, hey, I'm amongst you, I'm walking alongside you, your advocate and helper. And I promise to always do that. Abide in me, rest in me, live and move 
and have your being in me. In these days of being separated from many of the people we love, in these days of discomfort and fear, in these days of an uncertain future, wanting to question God and discover God and come close to the mysterious presence of God is a very immediate thing. If we have faith, we are immensely grateful for it. If we can feel God's love, we know ourselves to be blessed. If we are, as St Paul writes, searching and groping for God, we will find that God is not far from us. Because it's true, as he writes, in God we live and move and have our being. This is the joyful message for today. We are in God and God is in us. All of us, every one of us. And when we make time to allow that reality to sink in, these words of today's readings can be immensely helpful. There is a God that we can believe in. A God who has promised to always be with us and send the Holy Spirit to confirm that promise. A God who loves us, in whom we live and move and have our being. Amen. We just have a few moments of silence to think through those words and reflect. Now join with me as we say the affirmation of faith. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so we're now going to hear from Mark, who is going to lead us in our prayers today. Jesus, stand among us at the meeting of our lives. Jesus, risen Christ, stand among us. We rejoice, Lord, with all our hearts at this joyful Easter tide. We thank you for glimpses of your risen life we have seen or sensed since Easter Day. Glimpses of your indestructible peace glimpses of your light no darkness can ever put out, of your total love that conquers even death and opens the way for us to follow you on the road to eternity. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! As we hold that joyful at Easter joy in our hearts. We pray for our community here, and especially for the treasured life of Elaine, now gone from our midst. We give thanks for everything she was, and all she still is, to St Elizabeth's 
and to her family and friends. We give thanks too for the lives of others that Angie and Alison are commending on their final journeys in these days. And pray your support and comfort for those who mourn their loss, who now begin to struggle on without those they treasure in their hearts. And so we commend to your eternal love especially Brian Herbert, Victor Stewart, Brian Wooler, Joyce Pollitt, Yvonne Seaton, at Year's Mind, Paul Kivel and Ray Parsons, and our dear Elaine Peacock, and others on our own hearts. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord and let light perpetual shine upon them. Jesus, risen Christ, we hold our earthly pilgrimages before you. We pray for this parish we serve, that our hearts may beat strongly for all around us. Give strength and support Rest and refreshment to Angie and Alison, to Sean and Tony, Andy and Steve, and to all who lead us. On this Rogation Sunday, we pray for the fringes of the parish, round which we might have beaten the bounds in other times. For our neighbouring districts, in the Heatons and in Stockport, Brennington and Denton, Gorton and Levenshume, for all their people. We pray for all who feel on the fringes of church life, of society, of existence itself, especially for those in sickness and in other need. Amongst them, Dot Vinden, poorly in Stepping Hill, and her husband Joe, separated from her at home. For those shielding or in self-isolation, amongst them my parents, Michael and Kathleen, on their 62nd wedding anniversary at home in London. Help us to follow you to the fringes, knowing your risen presence goes before us, tending each, everywhere, holding every nation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray for every nation across the surface of this globe, for every continent and every island, for land and sea and air. We hold before you the pandemic and its effects on every human soul, those suffering those caring, those researching, those keeping life going in the spotlight or hidden away, the reckless, the fearful, those planning for the future. We pray for our leaders, especially for our MP Andrew Gwynne, those who support him locally, for our councillors, for our parliament and government, our Prime Minister and all around him. Dear Lord, in decisions that are made, in actions taken, at every step, may our common humanity always be placed centre stage. May we build a world where we love one another as you have loved us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
And so we come to the peace. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us find a way to offer one another a sign of peace. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift Let them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give thanks, thanks and, and praise. praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Almighty and Eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gate of eternal life. And so, in the joy of this Passover, Earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Oh. 
you are the most holy one, enthroned in splendour and light. Yet in the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, you reveal the power of your love, made perfect in our human weakness. Embracing our humanity, Jesus showed us the way of salvation. Loving us to the end, he gave himself to death for us, dying for his own. He set us free from the bounds of sin, that we might rise and reign with him in glory. On the night he gave up himself for us all, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the death that he suffered on the cross. We celebrate his resurrection, his bursting from the tomb. We rejoice that he reigns at your right hand on high, and we long for his coming in glory. As we recall the one perfect sacrifice of our redemption, Father, by your Holy Spirit, let these gifts of your creation become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Form us into the likeness of Christ and make us a perfect offering in your sight. Look with favour on your people, and in your mercy hear the cry of our hearts. Bless the earth, heal the sick, let the oppressed go free, and fill your church with power from on high. Gather your people from the ends of the earth to feast with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Elizabeth, Saint Agnes, and all your saints at the table in your kingdom where the new creation is brought to perfection in Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, remember us in your kingdom as we pray in the words you gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread 
to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one heart. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Thank you. 
and the post communion prayer. Lord God, Lord God our, our Father, Father, through our Jesus. Saviour Jesus Christ, you have assured your children of eternal life and in baptism have made us one with him. Deliver us from the death of sin and raise us to new life in your love, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, there are a few announcements for today, even though there's nothing happening at church for another week. Um, firstly, Alison and I would like to thank everybody who um, joined with us on Friday in remembering Elaine. Today would have been her 70th birthday and we will continue to remember Elaine for some time. Lots of the older folks in the community are receiving regular phone calls from a number of you. Thank you for doing that. As far as we know, everybody is doing well and more of them are finding out how they can join us online. Uh, so that is a wonderful thing. Please do carry on thinking of them and praying for them. And if you feel like giving any of them a ring and you don't have their number, just contact Alison or I and we'll let you know. Mark mentioned that this Sunday was Rogation Sunday. In the past, uh, groups of people, including us, would have walked around the boundaries of the parish and prayed in various places for the people who lived there. So I want to invite you as you walk around the parish this week, up and down your streets and further now that we can do it, to pray for all the people who live behind the front doors where you go, in the places where you walk and the shops and the bus stops where you stand. This coming week, Alison and I will be um, on our Facebook page at 8.45 in the morning and 6 o'clock in the evening for morning and evening prayer. But Thursday is Ascension Day. So we'll have a special evening prayer, a kind of choral evening prayer. And Alison will be leading that with a great deal of help from Andy and Steve. And yet again, I want to thank Andy and Steve for their fantastic music this morning. I couldn't do it without you guys. And thank you too to Mark for your lovely thoughtful prayers and to Chris for reading our first reading. If we don't have any birthdays this Sunday, but if any of you have birthdays next Sunday, or indeed if we've missed any this week, please let Alison and I know so that next week we can sing happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you, Angie. So we have our dismissal. And I just thank you all for joining both Angie and I this morning. I think we're getting used to it now. And there is no hoover at my left-hand side. This has been put away this week, which is good. So now God's blessing. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead. Open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and those whom you love always. Amen. Amen. He is not here, for he is risen. Go in the light and peace of Christ. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.